finally from us this evening, finding the path. At a time when many people are looking beyond traditional religion practices in their search for spiritual connections, an ancient form of meditation is making something of a comeback. Around the country, a growing number of people are walking in labyrinths. It is a simple act said to benefit the body and the soul. Here's ABC's Ken Kashiwahara. <laughs> Almost every day, they come to San Francisco's Grace Cathedral to walk in circles. At least, that's what it looks like. In fact, they are walking a labyrinth created 800 years ago in Europe and used by Christians as a substitute for pilgrimages they could not make. Today, these modern-day pilgrims walk the same sacred path, using the twists and turns to quiet the mind, to relieve stress. The path itself becomes a metaphor in, in our minds um, for the spiritual journey. Lauren Artris, an Episcopal priest at Grace Cathedral, rediscovered the labyrinth while on a retreat a decade ago and saw it as a way to fill a spiritual void. The labyrinth is a spiritual tool because the one path takes you inward. All you have to do is follow the path and trust the path and it will take you to center. Today, Artris has become the catalyst behind the labyrinth's revival. See, this is during the flowering of the Middle Ages. Conducting workshops, creating a website, and a portable labyrinth which she takes on the road to churches around the world. But the resurrection of this ancient form of spiritual healing is no longer confined to religious sanctuaries. It is coming face to face with the skepticism of the secular world. I dealt with my skepticism by thinking about it. As head of the California Pacific Medical Center, Dr. Martin Brotman overcame his doubts, deciding that his hospital would become the first in the country to install a labyrinth, deciding that it does have a place in the world of modern medicine. A lot of our patients and their families have said that, that it helps them, and a lot of our staff. It, it helps them deal with stress. Cardiac patients have used it to help them forget the stress of their surgery and recovery. As I got into it, the first few minutes, um, all of a sudden your, your mind becomes very peaceful. Breast cancer patients have used it to deal with pain and uncertainty. Yeah, I was thinking about um, wondering if I'm going to be still be here in 10 years, not sure of that. For some, it is an emotional experience which leads to comfort and healing, if only for the moment. In the last six years, more than a million people have walked the labyrinth at Grace Cathedral alone. Now hundreds of communities are creating labyrinths of their own. This one outside a church in Elgin, Illinois. And with plans to put them in prisons and parks and even airports, this centuries-old way of healing has found new life. Ken Kashiwahara, ABC News, San Francisco. Just one other note about the winding path to peace and serenity. After 23 years at ABC, our very longtime friend and colleague, Ken Kashiwahara, has decided that there are other things in life, and he is moving on. He was a correspondent in Vietnam during the war. He covered all of Asia as our Hong Kong bureau chief. He's covered large chunks of America for several years from his base in San Francisco. To say that we wish him well is an understatement. At a high